Hello and welcome to Football vs Philosophy, the show that pits five footballers against some of the greatest minds of all time. Each footballer has to answer five football-themed philosophical questions, but there's a catch. They only have one minute to answer each one. Their answers will be marked by philosophy expert Gary Farnell, who will give them zero points, one point or three points for each one, forming the Football vs Philosophy League table. So let's take a look at who's taken part. I don't know why they don't just make the penalty spot the side of the whole pitch. Yeah, but Plato would argue about anything. Nobody touches him, he goes down. He even fell in his bath the other day as well and he, you know, got booked for diving. Can we do that again? <laughs> Quite confusing, not my normal question that I'd normally receive. <laughs> Who will be more daffy than Nietzsche, more Joey Essex than Plato? It's time to find out in Football versus Philosophy. Our footballers all start off on a level playing field, hoping to impress Gary Farnell and become the Football versus Philosophy champion. Can they do enough? Let's find out. These penalty kicks only demonstrate some of the possible outcomes that could potentially happen when taking a penalty. But, according to a number of philosophers, anything that can happen in the universe has already happened an infinite number of times with an infinite number of outcomes. So with that in mind, how do we know match tactics are relevant at all? Before we find out our players' views, let's see what sort of answer Gary is looking for. If you ask Nietzsche this, he will give you a very long and convoluted uh, answer in relation to his theory of the eternal return. Um, but in simple terms, yes, of course, match tactics are uh, always very crucial. It's a very good question. I'm not sure they can ever be relevant if that's the case. Um, because they've already been done somewhere else. Somebody would have known that they've been done. And um, it would be very difficult to convince somebody that you're doing something a little bit different. Okay, well, would you say different teams can win the league constantly then? Different teams can win the league and different teams do win the league. Although some teams win it more often than others. Uh, they've obviously got better players, better philosophy maybe. Um, but for me, mainly it comes down to having good players. So in that context, then, it doesn't matter how hard you press players or how often you try to beat the offside trap because in some dimension that's always, it's already happened. It's, it's been beaten, it's not been beaten. Yeah, that's very true. Um, it'd be very, very difficult to understand that concept. Um, but in a way, I think you're absolutely right. <laughs> well, I thought he gave a very sensible answer. I wondered uh, at one point in terms of the points he was making, whether he was meant to be punning on, on words like philosophy <laughs> and concepts. I'd I give that uh, three points. Preparation, I think, comes down to observation. Um, you know what your strengths are, so you obviously do, you do your homework and uh, you resource whatever's needed to, to go and uh, exploit their weaknesses. But they can counter that because everything has already happened according to Nietzsche. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's uh, set in stone. I think mean, uh, everything's done as in as far as preparation goes, but with football, it's a game of mistakes and you have to react off of the mistakes. So you're saying basically that it depends on the, the moment in time you're talking about? Exactly, and you, you down, it's down to human error. I mean, if a human um, makes a mistake, then it's up to the other human being on the football pitch to, to react to it. Didn't have that uh, philosophical flair, perhaps, that Letizier had in terms of his punning. Um, he started to talk about the idea of human error, which philosophically, of course, he could have uh, expanded quite a bit. So is that zero points or one point? Yeah. I, I would say one point for one that point. one. Uh, because it's full of infinite potential. And uh, every match you go out there with a different potential and you prepare yourself and uh, every game is different. It might have happened before, but not in the same game. So infinitely, you can make anything happen. So you put it down to human error? I put it ahead. Um, human error, but human skill and human understanding and, and awareness. A similar uh, response to Watson um, didn't have quite the length. Zero points. Zero points. Can we do that again? <laughs> of course, no worries. Match tactics are relevant because you've got to look at the opposite team that you're playing against. We're out there, pros and cons, and try and 
I try and pick a side and a formation that's going to break them down and, and, and win the game. So you're only looking at fighting that one outcome? Yeah, I just think the outcome is to win the game, definitely. When you're in the professional game, you live and die by your results and that is the result that you want. If you win ugly, you win ugly. If you win through playing football, good football and style, brilliant. But it's about winning games. I thought that was a good recovery in that answer. And ultimately he came to the right conclusion. You've got to get at least a point for that, haven't you? Oh, this is going to be a tricky one, isn't it? <laughs> um, confusing as well. Um, I don't know, getting your tactics right. It's, I don't know, it's, a, it's a weird one, it's, it's quite confusing. Not my normal question that I'd normally receive. <laughs> um, I don't know how it would come out. I don't know if they would be relevant, would they? Um, I don't know. They're right. The, uh, it would be interesting to, if, if we did know, if, uh, if we could uh, look into the future, but I don't know, I'm confused on that one. I don't know the best way to answer that. Zero points. Zero points. <laughs> Matt Letizier has taken an early lead, but that could change. There's still four questions left to answer, and things could look very different, so join me for part two.